In this video, I am going to show you how I recreated this wheat field painting by Vincent Van Gogh using Blender and Adobe Photoshop. So first I started off by creating a plane and adding displacement using geometry nodes and I also added a human model for some scale reference. Then I imported some wheat plants from Quixel Bridge and also matched out the foot piles using weight pen mode and distributed them as point instances. And after that I added even more wheat plant models, smaller and larger ones to add some more variations to it. I kept playing with the number of particles, rotation and randomized the scales just so I could get some more randomness and variation. For the ground, I used a mud texture from polyheaven.com and to fix the tiling issues, I used the polygon overmapping node and randomized the rotation to get rid of the tiles. And for the lighting, I removed the sun lamp and added a sky texture and also imported some more plant models. And then for those green grass surrounding the wheat field, I created a new density group and masked on a new path with a much smaller radius. And I actually wanted to go for a sunset type of look for this scene, so for that I reduced the sun elevation as well as the amount of air in the scene. Now the shape of the pathway wasn't quite matching with the painting, so I used the pencil tool to create some guidelines and masked out the path according to that. Then I also added some more plant assets and tried out some other lighting techniques. And for the horizontal pathway, I also masked out a path and assigned the wheat and grass model to separate density groups which made it easier to control them. I kept trying to fix the pathway, I tried to match it with the painting as much as I could and this took quite some time to get it right and at this point I had a lot of vegetations and particle systems in the scene and Blender was starting to lag a lot which made the whole process even slower. I tried adding some volume metrics but that didn't really work so I removed it and then went on and tried to fix the pathway again. Then I was wondering what kind of grass was present around the wheat field in the painting so I searched it up on google and found out that they were actually wheat. No not that wheat. So I went on to Quixel Bridge and downloaded some wheat assets and added those as well with a different density group. I also added a separate plane for the ground because I wanted to try adaptive subdivision Actually, I don't know how to do that with geometry nodes, so that's why.
Now the vegetation was looking better but the ground was looking too flat. So I added a displacement node with adaptive subdivision turned on which I later found out was a big mistake. And then I tried to fix the pathway again because I wanted the grass to blend nicely with the ground but it was not doing that. So I kept making some small changes here and there. Then I tried to fix the lighting so I moved the sun around, played with the sun elevation, sun side just to see what looks best and then I went back to fix the pathway again. And then I was looking at some reference images of wheat fields and I noticed that in most of the pictures there were always some distant hills in the back. So to add those I created new planes and added displacement to them and moved them in the back of the scene. I also noticed that the ground displacement was a bit too much so I reduced that as well and also went on to experiment with the lighting as it was the most important factor in the scene. And then in the painting I noticed that where the path ends there were a lot of green grass or weed things so I created another density group and added grass to it which not gonna lie looked pretty good but they were not blending properly with the ground so I replaced them with the ones I used earlier for the field. And then it was just about fixing some small issues here and there with the particles, crow placement and the lighting issues. For the crows in the further back I just used a PNG image and for those in the front I added a 3D model I found on Sketchfab which looked pretty good. It was also animated with rigs so I added them and placed them accordingly with the painting. And now it was finally time to render which took a lot of time because every time I would render it it would just crash and say that GPU is out of memory. Which didn't really make sense to me because I've rendered larger scenes than this before but it never did that. So after a whole day of research I found out that it was because of the adaptive subdivision. I don't really know what it did but it's, I think it was because of the experimental mode. So I changed it back to supported and removed the adaptive subdivision and it fixed the issue. So instead of the adaptive subdivision I just deleted the plane faces that were not visible in the camera and subdivided the rest so the scene would have less geometry to deal with. And I added crows on the other side as well and fixed the pathway again. Now one more problem was that I wasn't happy with this guy and even with an HDRI it wasn't looking good. So I rendered the ground plants and crows separately and added them in photoshop layer by layer. I added a sky texture behind them, blended it with the ground, added some sunlight, made the whole thing darker added some highlights, fixed some other issues and this is what I ended up with. Now obviously this looks nothing like the painting so then I created another version but this time I made everything brighter, added a blue sky with the sun where the path ends because in the painting there's also this giant wild, white circle there so I suppose it's the sun and as I mentioned earlier I also replaced the grass as well. And after all that this was the final result. Personally I think I did pretty good better than last time what do you guys think do let me know in the comments and i hope i'll see you in the next video oh and also make sure to subscribe